Hello, this is Dr. John Davila. I'd like to welcome you to Legal Discounts, helping patients stretch their healthcare dollar with using compliantcoupons.com. Let's get started. First thing I always get asked is why take this on? Well, how to defend themselves in auto situations. On how Now, one of the biggest issues was how to deal with discounts to make care affordable while not breaking contracts in federal law. Recently, the Office of Inspector General changed all this. So what about the cash patient discount? I know we've always seen them, but we've heard about it. See, the Medicare program itself, in their own words, from the Office of Inspector General also, states, the Medicare program sees no complications where a provider offers discounts or allowances to uninsured or underinsured patients versus allowing discounts or allowances to third-party payers. And that means that Medicare, the Office of Inspector General, they see no difference from you offering a discount to someone who doesn't have insurance or is underinsured versus when you sign a contract and you offer them a discount when you sign the contract. So there's no difference between the two. Perfect. The only issue is, how do you apply the discounts? See, discounts raise the issue of physicians' customary charges for a procedure. See, many private insurance plans have a most favored nation clause in the contract with the physician, meaning that if you told the insurance company this is your lowest fee and now you give a cash discount, you actually didn't tell them the truth and now you've violated the contract. And really, none of us need that problem. So there's got to be a different or better way. So let's say we do give a cash discount and we violate the contract. What the insurance company can come back and say is that this entitles the plan to pay the lowest charge the physician bills to anyone. Hence the problem with giving a discount on top of your insurance fees and then giving them a discount, so then you'd be down to almost nothing. Any systematic pattern of discounts could trigger a reduction in the physician's allowable reimbursement schedule to the physician. That's where the problem is by giving a discount without using the right A few years ago, back in 2008, Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General had given its approval to a healthcare systems plan to offer prompt pay discounts to patients who pay their share of the medical bills quickly. So, in essence, they did originally offer these discounts to federally insured patients in something in such a way in which it was no big deal. So they said, "Yeah, sure, we'll let you go do this." That process was called the prompt pay discount. You see, the healthcare system had asked for the OIG's opinion on whether it would violate the anti-kickback statute for rewarding referrals to offer patients the incentive to pay their medical bills quickly. The system feared that they'd be seen as inducing patient self-referrals by encouraging them to buy medical services that might not be needed. In its advisory opinion, the OIG noted that a safe harbor already exists to protect waivers of coinsurance and deductibles for inpatient services under some circumstances. It held that outpatient discounts don't add up to patient inducements as long as they merely encourage to get unnecessary financial decisions rather than necessary care. Now, this is going to be important because the term unnecessary care is going to come up again later. Now, could you give the discount? Yes, but there was a catch. To actual cost, the discount must be related to savings. And two, the discount procedure is applied to the patient's amount due after insurance is paid. So the discount was given only on the percentage on what the patient had to pay as copay. So here's an example of how it worked. Prior to discharge, up to $1,000, you would get A percent off. Over $1,000, it'd be B. After discharge, $999 would be Y, and over 1000 would be Z. 
Now, these percentages were different because they were based on the actual savings. So you had to go through your office to figure out exactly how much the patient would actually pay you, and if they paid you at a certain time, how much you'd save versus having to go chase them down to pay you back. So here's an example of how it would work. If you build a 98942, it was $45, for example. A 20% copay would be $9. The prompt pay discount would be 10%. Now remember, this amount would be taken off the patient's portion due after federal insurance is paid. So 10% discount based on true actual savings. The amount due would now be $8.10. So a 10% savings would only save the patient 90 cents. You have to ask yourself, is that really A, worth it for the compliance nightmare? And B, is it really going to make a difference to a patient to save 90 cents? So remember, the key points for a prompt pay discount, A, and B, advertise the fact you have this. The savings must be actual documented in your compliance plan. So you just couldn't just go do this, or as most people do it now, just say, oh, yeah, we saved 20% for our cash patients or half off for doubt for cash patients. There's no federal policy that says you can do that. Well, the process is now much easier. The process to legal discounts runs through the Office of Inspector General's report that was released on March 27, 2012. And in here, the OIG talks about exactly how you can offer compliant discounts without having patients needing to join discount medical plans. The first process that the OIG stated was that the coupons would be for a reduced price or percentage reduction on a particular item or service. The discount would apply both to the payer as well as the patient. Now what this means is free services like they said earlier, lead to overutilization. Therefore, coupons for free services would violate what's called the safe harbor for discounts. So the coupons themselves. Second, the terms of use would require the providers to comply with the discount safe harbor. To that end, requester's website would provide all the notifications that would be required if the requester were an offerer of a discount under the safe harbor. And what that means in simple terms is that if you're going to offer discounts, you need to make sure that you comply with the safe harbor terms. Now, just giving a patient a coupon without their recorded acceptance of the federal safe harbor does not meet the OIG's opinion or the OIG's requirements in this process. So just saying, oh yeah, the patient did it and that's not how it worked, and that's not how it works. So, no, we don't want to just start giving out coupons. That's not how it works. The process has to be reviewed by a third party to make sure that your safe harbor agreements are done for both you, meaning you'll make sure that you charge everyone supposed to be charged, and the patient, meaning they understand they will be charged. Third, the website and the coupons themselves would explain that the discount must apply to the entire item or service and not just the customer's cost sharing obligation. You see, what that means is coupons for free services that like most people give away would violate the safe harbor for discounts because it relieves the patient from having to pay anything, let alone their coinsurance as required by their contract. So remember, free services are bad, they lead to overutilization, and also it violates the safe harbor process. Now what do we do with this? This is the dilemma. You're on the fence. Do we try and go all cash or do we deal with insurance? How do we do this? The process, believe it or not, was made simple in the OIG's opinion. Now, what do we do with insured in-network patients? There's a couple of key points. First, discounts are usually a violation of the contract that doctors have signed with insurance companies. Two, you must notify the carriers that you have contracts with that you're going through this process. The good news is, is that three, our program includes the documentation you need to inform your major med carriers of the discounts you've offered patients to tell them that you're invoking the OIG's opinion. Now, this makes life very, very simple as long as you follow it correctly. 
So how do you do it correctly? Well, let's say this is our sample website. And in the bottom corner, we have a free consult. See, now this in and of itself, the free service is not legal. We cannot do this. We have to make sure that if we're going to give discounts or do things correctly, that it's done legally to avoid anyone coming back at us later on down the road. Now, this is unless we actually change something. You see, if we want to go and put into the website that there, click here for a special offer, we come to a website such as compliancoupons.com. And as we come to this website, we could click on Get Started. And if we did that, we'd actually end up here where we could search for a certain zip code. Now, if the patient just ends up at compliancoupons.com, they could search and come up with you. And the doctor search will end up here on Google Maps, which is perfect for us to show exactly where the patient is versus where they should be. Or we could have this button here, instead of, say, free consult, say, click here for our latest offers. If we did that, this would link us directly to your specific coupons. The patient would be directed to a page like this. Now, the process is legal only if you follow these three processes that we've made simple for you. First, we keep you legal because we train you to do it right. All training for doctors and staff, along with required letters that you would need to send to insurance companies, are included in the program. So there's nothing more than you need to be able to get started. You can watch the videos, do the training, have the paperwork, and be up and running the same day you sign up for the program. Step two, we've created all the appropriate agreements to safeguard both you and your patients from violating federal law. So it's built into the program. It's very, very simple. The patient agrees, you agree, and we move right on to offering discounts the way we've done it for years and years and years, just now legally. Step three, we help you to qualify for protection from violating federal law by creating a layer of oversight to help you create compliant coupons. Now what that means is all of your coupons are created by us. You have done everything we needed to make sure that your coupons are legal, A, and then B, if you want to order other coupons, we'll review them personally to make sure that your coupons are done correctly to keep your practice safe. So, how do you get started? Well, in this button right here, we're going to go to compliancoupons.com, Then once we do that, you can go up here to 4DCs, you click on that button, and you'll come to this page. Now we have a couple of different programs. First program is silver. It's $39 a month. One general coupon that changes monthly, and the setup fee is $199. It's $39 a month, and you just have one coupon on your page, and it goes on and on and on, and we change that once per month, and it is there, and your patients can go sign up, and that's it. It's perfect. It's cheaper than having patients sign for discount medical plans, no extra sales process. Very, very simple. We also have a gold plan. In this gold plan, you have a choice of from 18 coupons to put on your page. And in this plan, you get to choose one additional coupon. So you have your one general coupon, and then you have another one to put there, and you get to choose from one of 18 coupons to put on your page. That's $59 a month, and once again, the setup fee is $199. Now we also have is the Platinum Program. Now in the Platinum Program, you get the silver and the gold, but in this plan, you get to put up to four coupons on your page, and you get choice of 18, plus we'll make for you four coupons per year, custom specifically for your practice. The advantage to this is that if you sign up for this program, the setup fee of $199 is waived. Now, for a limited time, what we've done is we've included all of the Custom Chiro Solutions compliance material in the Platinum Package. So for this limited time, if you sign up for the Platinum Package, in addition to no sign-up fee, you also get our Medicare opt-out program for patients to sign. We also have a medical necessity training program that's in video for doctors. We also have a compliance officer training for doctors and staff all new HIPAA forms that are out there. We have an employee manual that's totally editable. We have a compliance manual that goes with that that's totally editable. 
We have Medicare billing training in video and on paper. We also have coding and documentation videos included in this process. So it isn't just documentation and all those other things that you have to pay separately for and then the compliant coupons are, are a different fee. What we've done is we've combined it all into one program. That program's worth $4,000, but right now, if you sign up for it, it's $99 a month, no setup fee, and you can take advantage of the entire program at little cost. We know you're going to have questions. If you have questions, you can connect with us on Twitter at jdevilladc. If you're on Facebook, you can private message us, or you can just like our page at Helping Chiropractors Do the Right Thing. If you want answers, you can get us also through LinkedIn at John Davila DC. Also, you can give us a call at 800-974-3479. Thanks so much. We hope to see you soon. This is Dr. John Davila. Have a great day.